Application of preform line products splice shunt for installation over failing compression, automatic, and helical splices. Thoroughly mechanically clean or wire brush the conductor on either side of the existing conductor splice for length greater than the length of the splice shunt leg. Be sure to brush the entire circumference of the conductor to ensure removal of all oxidation from the conductor. Immediately apply a liberal amount of company approved oxide inhibitor compatible with the conductor to this newly clean conductor section. Hand application over the existing conductor splice. Select one of the subsets that has the most individual rods as the first subset to be installed. If they all have the same number of rods, select any subset. Position the center color mark of the cabled section of the subset over the center of the splice. While holding the center of the first subset in line with the splice, begin wrapping one of the legs at its crossover mark. Continue wrapping this leg until it is fully installed by snapping in the rod ends. Fully install the second side of the first subset starting at its crossover mark and again ensuring installation is complete by snapping in the rod ends. Select the second subset, preferably the one with the least number of rods. On this new subset, line up one of the leg's crossover marks with the crossover marks of the right leg of the installed subset. Place this crossover mark above or behind the right crossover mark of the installed subset. Make sure these crossover marks line up closely. The second subset is now wrapping into the first subset on the right side of the splice. Apply this leg completely. Moving to the left hand side of the splice, begin wrapping the second leg. Only install one or two pitches. This secures the leg, but will permit elimination of excessive gap. Note, this second side or left side of the second subset is applying away from the first subset. Again, do not fully apply this leg. Repeat the previous two steps for the remaining number of subsets. Always line up the crossover marks on the right side of the installed subsets, installing these remaining subsets behind the previous subset, and ensuring that the crossover marks are lined up. Wrap this leg on to completion, snapping the rod ends in place. Moving to the left side again, only install one or two pitches. When installing the last subset, completely install the leg to the right of the splice. This completes the installation of the right side of the splice shunt. It is important that the color markings are lined up on the right side to ensure proper phasing of the legs on the left side. Install the second leg of this last subset to the left side as was done on previous subsets, but install it to completion. Note this last subset now wraps into the first subset installed. Ensure the rod ends are snapped into place. Determine which of the remaining unapplied subsets on the left side will apply into the previously installed subset. Wrap this subset completely on the conductor. Use this procedure to wrap all remaining subsets one by one. Note you are applying the subsets on the left side in the reverse order from that of the right side. Make sure all leg ends are snapped into place. This completes the installation of the preform line products splice shunt.